Garden City Councilor, and um, this is Keep Brockton Beautiful Day. Um, it's always one of my favorite events of the year. It's always wonderful to see all the amazing residents and non-residents of Brockton that come out to help us clean up, um, clean up our city. It's um, it's a wonderful get together. Uh, today the weather is nice. It's not too hot and it's um, not too cold and it's definitely not raining. So we have a wonderful turnout. As always, um, our uh, DPW crew comes in with uh, t-shirts, uh, gloves, and um, you know all the pickers to pick up the trash. So uh, they're always prepared to have the, the tools for our residents. It's um, once again, I, it's one of my favorite events. Thank you to everyone who comes out and I'm always amazed about uh, the people that do come out from outside of the city. I think today uh, we had a young lady that came all the way from Rhode Island that uh, works in the city but uh, lives in Rhode Island. So she came uh, to help us with Keep Rockton Beautiful. So it's a wonderful event. Everybody comes back afterwards at noontime and it's a good celebration. We have raffles and um, food for them. But um, once again, thank you. And thank you for BCA for filming this. I, I think it's great to get the awareness out. And I hope the momentum continues, that it's not just one day a year that we clean up our, our city. I, I know we have amazing groups that clean up throughout the year. And uh, I know we clean up in front of our house every day. So if everybody just did a little bit, we'd have our, our city would be beautiful every day. Thank you. City of Brockton and uh, it's just a beautiful day here in the city of Brockton this is the annual keep Brockton beautiful day uh, wonderful weather we have really great volunteers we have folks from uh, City Council school committee state representatives but most importantly Brocktonians coming out here uh, you know this is the bag that I've cleaned up today uh, there's a lot of trash uh, tomorrow is Marvelous Marvin Hagler Day in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, so we're going to have a really wonderful festivity here at Rocky Marciano Stadium at Brockton High. Uh, so we're really cleaning and beautifying and, and really put on uh, the best appearance of the City of Champions. All right. Um, my name is uh, Cadet uh, Zachary Santos. I am the executive officer of the um, Jared TC program uh, here at the Brockton High School. And, um, yeah, that's my, that's my rank. So why are you here tonight? So today we're here, um, we're, doing, we're doing a little cleanup here at the high school. Uh, we've planned this, this has been planned for at least us uh, for the last three months. We, know, we knew we were going to do this. Um, it's, it's, a good, it's a good experience for everyone here. It teaches our cadets at least to do something bigger than themselves, um, which I feel like is something that can be transferred into any life skill or to, into any um, you know, other thing that you know, they do in their life. Um, is this the first year you guys have done this is, I believe this is the first year we are doing a cleanup. Last year it was something else um, for our project, but this year we decided to do a cleanup. Uh, we felt like it would have been a good, it, it, it's a good project for us because it gets us one out of the house with this whole pandemic and everything like that. Um, I feel like it was, it, it was a good opportunity for, for us to get out of the house and, you know, do something for our community. That's good? I feel like it's important because... Um, Again, like you just said, you literally kind of, you almost answered the question right there. You said, we are a city, you know? We are all together, we're all one. So it's good for us to talk to our leadership and our, and our you know, our mayor and make sure that we are, you know, on the same page when it comes to doing stuff for our city. Because at the end of the day, we are Jerry TC, you know, some of us are going into um, military after high school. Um, but, you know, we are here to serve our community. We are here to serve, you know, in the bigger picture, our country, you know? Um, so I feel, I feel like this, this was a great opportunity for us and we uh, coordinated it well with the mayor and um, we coordinate, coordinated it well with um, the whole uh, community.
represent Ward 4 on the Brockton City Council. I'm in my fourth year of this job. It's the second year of my second term. And um, I'm at Beautify Brockton Day today because it's just a great idea. And the city is just looking so messy. So I've got my garbage bags, and in the car I have my, uh, my clippers for trimming weeds around utility poles and um, other things for picking up trash. Um, I'm focusing on Ward 4. I've, I've asked on my uh, Facts on 4 little show on Brockton Community Access, I asked Ward 4 residents to spend an hour today picking up stuff and tidying up and straightening up. And, you know, I'm not going to ask people to do it and not do it myself. So um, I have all my, my tools in the car, and I came over here to get some garbage bags, and, and that's my goal today. And I just hope we get a great turnout throughout the city, and especially in Ward 4. Ward 4 needs some spiffing up, and this is our opportunity. You know, we have over 300 miles of roads in Brockton, and um, it's an awful lot to ask the Department of Public Works to to keep up with this. We also have some people with bad habits driving through or living among us who just throw their trash out the window. I walk on a main road right near my house fairly often and I, I see it practically every time I walk. Takeout containers just go flying out windows and we have to do better. We have to do better and so this is a start. And thank you for this opportunity to speak to all of you. Senator from Brockton and uh, I always like to help out on keep Brockton beautiful day uh, I'm helping out here on Pearl Street we started the historical society but I'm also going back to James Edgar's Park because my good friend who's up in heaven Mary Virginia Curtis she always would clean Edgar's Park and wood too so I got to go back there um, she, she would clean it twice a year in the springtime when we do keep Brockton beautiful day and then before the Labor Day tournament that uh, Connie Spillane used to put on. So I make sure I always go back there to help out too. But I'm just grateful to be a part of this day. We have so many great volunteers in Brockton and hopefully I get some exercise and lose some weight too, so. Hi folks, um, so we're from the Village Neighborhood Association for Keep Brockton Beautiful Day here at Tukas Park. My name is Joanne Zygmunt, the president of the Village Neighborhood Association. We've got Megan here as well and Julio Pomar, who are members too. Um, we've been doing this for, I think this is our third time doing Tukis. Um, we had a whole great group of people out this morning, including John Dzerzhinskis and Sherry Lee Hopwood and Skip. Um, but they've gone on to McKinley Park uh, to do the cleanup there. Um, but our park now is looking pretty good. There wasn't actually too much. It was already in good condition. Um, and we hope it stays this way. So we'll be back and doing some more cleanup. Thank you.